Hey everybody, it's Ripley here, back again. Oh goodness, we're using derivatives left and right now, aren't we? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna harken back a little bit to your uh, algebra two days here. We're gonna talk about maxes and mins. Now, in complete absence of calculus, I think we all know. Let's see. Let's make this interesting. Oh yeah. Let's label some stuff on this guy. Okay. Let's call this f of x just to sort of refresh our memory. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. First and foremost, hopefully everybody remembers that this is called a max. But the question is, is what kind of a max is it? Is it the biggest value that the function gets on from negative infinity to infinity, assuming that the behavior of the function remains consistent uh, as this thing gets absolute x large on both sides? Well, clearly it's not the biggest that it gets. So this is what's called a local, local, but you'll also hear this referred to as a relative max. Okay, now this right here similarly is called a local, whoops, local or relative min. All right, now look at this guy. This guy's special. Wait, 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 wait. Let's back up. What do you notice about this point right here? That should make your spidey sense tingle just a little bit. What do you notice? It's not differentiable, is it? It's a cusp. All right, now there's a little tail there, there's a little lesson. We can have maxes and mins where a function isn't differentiable. We know that at this point, the first derivative of the function doesn't exist. It's the null set. Okay, but the function exists. Remember, the derivative doesn't have to exist for the function to, the, to exist. Also, notice the, the, this function is continuous at this point. The limit exists from both sides. It's just not differentiable. And that can get a little bit confusing. Sometimes we might confuse differentiability with the existence of limits and continuity. All right? So just, just I threw that in there, special. Uh, this guy right here is called an absolute, absolute, or a global max. All right? They're referred to in both ways. It's the biggest that the function gets, again, assuming that it doesn't get all crazy down the road. Now, this guy right here is a perfect little trap. You might say, well, Ripley, it's the smallest that the function gets that I can see, right? So I want to call this an absolute or a global min. The problem is, is look at this guy down here. Woo, he's getting lower. And this guy down here, Yahoo, is getting lower as well. So this is still just a local or relative. I'm going to start abbreviating those. Man, now watch what happens, though. I'm going to do something special. If I throw in, let's make it ugly green because it makes us want to puke. What happens if suddenly I close off the interval? Now what happens? Well, this guy just became, I'm going to do this parenthetically in green. Now this guy is the global or absolute max, or excuse me, min on the interval. Okay? You see how subtle that is? If I slap this thing on a closed interval, or even an open interval in this case, then I no longer have the issue with the function getting smaller and smaller. Now, it can be the global or the local max. We'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a sec. All right, let's ignore the green guys for just a sec. This, again, is a relative or um, a local max. Okay? So you'll hear me refer to them um, both ways, over and over and over again. Okay? Now, <clears throat> really, if we have to define a max, what does it mean? What does it mean for a function to be a max? All right. What is a max? What is a max? Well, let's think about this. We can say that f of a is a max. Now, let's think about this just for a sec, because I'm going to throw out some funky, funky um, um, notation here in just a sec. But let's let's keep it simple. F of a is a max if, for lack of a better way to put it, it's bigger than all other values relatively close to it. That's why it's called a relative max. Notice right here, this is an absolute max. It's a global max, so it's bigger than all the values. But look at this guy right here. He's bigger than all of the values relatively close to him or her. Sorry, I don't mean to be gender biased. However, notice all of these values are bigger than this point right here. Now, the way that we say this mathematically, because this is quarrelsome for a mathematician, all right, if, if I open up these intervals, I'm still bigger, bigger. 
notice if I open up this interval, I'm screwed because these values are bigger than this value. This value is no longer bigger than all these values. So the way that we say this in mathematics is f of a is a max if there is an open interval interval centered at a centered at, I think that's two R's but I always screw it up. It is centered at a such that f of a is greater than or equal to all f of x in the interval. In the interval. That's a max. So check this out. This will drive you crazy. Let's say, for example, I have a function that looks like this. Okay, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this. Whoops like this. So this is a horizontal line, okay? And this is going to be f of x. And let's call this point right here a. All right? So watch. I open up an open in, in, in remember, it can be any. This says an open interval, so there only has to be one. If I open up an open interval centered at a, all there has to be is one. Notice that if I open that up up here, think about it that way. That's the simplest way. Notice this point right here is a comma f of a, and f of a is greater than or equal to all other f of x in the open interval. You see that? Now you may say, but, wait, 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 but Ripley, it's not bigger than these values right here. Yeah, but, but, but to be a max, it can be equal to as well. And this is where students in a great hue and cry come out and say, okay, Ripley, you're getting crazy now. I think you're wrong. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. What if I had I mean, just simply a horizontal line? Y equals what? One, two, three, four. And I pick, and I pick X equals two. Well, is that is F of two, which equals four. Is this a max? Well, let's see. Is there an open interval centered around x equals 2 such that f of 2 is greater than or equal to all f of x in that interval? Yes, it's equal to all of them. Guess what? This is a max. Now, I, I know your spidey sense is already tingling. Let's define what a min is. A min. Let's keep it simple. A min. What, what's a min? Take exactly the same thing. We say f of a is min if, now here's where I'm going to get fancy. There exists, that's a backwards capital E. Remember, this guy means there exists. Upside down capital A means for every, for every, okay? If there exists an open interval centered, is it two R's? I'm going to put two R's and see if it looks better. Eh, it looks terrible to me, but anyway. Uh, centered at x equals a such that f of a is less than or equal to all f of x in the interval. Now, what does that say about this value right here? Well, notice that f of 2 is both greater than or equal to and less than or equal to all f of x. Whoops, all f of x, right? Because we know that it's equal to all the values around it. It's a horizontal line. So what does this imply? This implies that f of 2 is a max and a min. Now, these are special cases. By and large, when we're talking about maxes and mins, by and large, we're going to have functions that are going to go woo, woo, like that, okay? You're going to be like, that's a max, that's a min, I'm not afraid, okay? So don't panic. I'm not trying to throw you guys off and, and make things crazy for you, okay? Um, I just want to give you an example of how sort of nuts the math can get. Um, just by definition, we have to leave these sort of chinks in the armor 
of the definitions mathematically if we don't want to paint ourselves into a mathematical corner. Okay, so we accept that we can have these real anomalous behavior, these strange, what we call vacuous or trivial cases. Uh, however, by and large, the rules work very, very well.